yo 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 what's up i've been too serious all this while part one and part two of this video i was too serious like i know you guys have missed me what's up i'm still here <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my video welcome back to my channel on this video i'm talking about top reasons why a visa a tier 4 visa might get rejected and i'm doing this so you don't make these same mistakes because i really want you to come to the uk and i'm looking forward to having you in the uk now my father get this country the very first reason why a visa might get rejected is lack of knowledge on the course or university you want to come and study in the uk but then to god between me and you we know that the only reason why you pick that school is because your agent said you should pick it you don't really know anything about that university you don't you're not even interested in that course but then they told you that with that course you'll be able to get a good job all of these reasons will not suffice. You need to know why you're picking that university. You need to know why you pick that course. So make sure you do your homework. Have reasons. Have reasons for picking that university. Have reasons for picking that course. Don't just go there and hoping that uh, miraculously they will not ask you that particular question. Okay, hey, you guys, I just have to say this. So I had finished recording this video and then I realized that it was not recorded. So everything I said, I have to repeat it again. So in case you notice my energy is down in this video just because i'm pissed and i have to like i'm saying everything i already said before the second reason why a visa might get rejected is unclear intentions like your intentions are not making sense why do you want to study in the uk your answer is not coherent why did you choose that university your answer is not coherent why are you coming to the uk your answer is not coherent like they need to know what are your intentions you need to come across as genuine so when your answers are not coherent it makes the intentions unclear and they're like you know they'll be like I don't really think he is coming here to study. He might be coming here for another reason. You don't want that. So try as much as possible to give coherent, comprehensible answers. The next reason why a visa might get rejected is lack of confidence. See, let me tell you, you know that there are some people that can lie and then they lie with so much confidence. And even though you know they are lying, because of the confidence they have, you believe it is the truth. That is the importance of confidence. You need to be confident. You need to come across as an assertive person. I'm not saying you should show up with some kind of gra gra or arrogance. Mbao. All I'm saying is just come across as a confident person. Look at the camera when you're answering questions. Try not to fidget. Try not to be shuffling your feet on the floor. Just sit up straight, sit calm, take deep breaths and answer the questions clearly. Next reason why a visa might get rejection is lack of preparation. You know, there are some people that just feel that they are too big or they are too... They know it all, so they cannot be preparing for a visa interview. Like, it's just a visa interview. I have done so many interviews in my life before. Why would I be preparing? Hmm. <laughs> Clap for yourself. <laughs> Please prepare. Do not like become too comfortable in a way like you feel like there's no need to prepare. Prepare for the interview. Try to practice questions and prepare possible answers for these questions. If you've not seen my previous videos, the first video and the second video, make sure you check them out. They'll help you with possible questions and, you know, how to answer those questions. They are up here, link above. So check them out when you can. Next reason why a visa might get rejected is not understanding the question asked or too much focused on pre-planned answers. So when they ask you a question and you don't understand, edge or ask the person on the other side to please repeat his question is nothing it doesn't mean anything it just means you want to understand the question because if you don't understand the question you'll be giving a different answer the person will be asking a you you'll be answering z Mba. you need to answer questions comprehensively let them repeat the question so you can have you know appropriate answers and also a lot of people focus a lot on pre-planned answers it's like hmm they've re rehearsed all the possible questions they can be asked in a visa interview so when they get there even before they ask questions you're already preempting questions so they might just ask a question and then you're already like oh this will be the second question and then they did not even ask that question because in your head you're already focused on the answers you have you start answering something different to what they're asking you you don't want that try as much as possible to focus on your interview listen to the questions that are being asked yes it is good to prepare but no one said you should memorize or cram answers the next reason why your visa your visa will not get rejected why a visa might get rejected <laughs> It breaches from previous immigration history. So maybe before you came to the UK and mm, your visa expired though. It's not you to go back to where you came from. It's not you to go back to your country or go back to Nigeria or wherever you came from. You decided to stay back in the UK for a little bit. Like you stayed for just a little bit, just like a day, two days, or maybe just a week. Hmm. That little breach 
can you know ruin the chances of getting your tier 4 visa so that is why it's very important you always stick to your visa restrictions if your visa is expired please leave like leave the country just so that you can always come back to the uk whenever you want and another thing i noticed is also the people that are related to you like the people you put on your visa maybe your parents and all of that then you put their passport numbers because you have to put all of that in the visa application if they check their history and then they also have history of breaching their visa agreements or their visa restrictions hmm it could also affect you yeah just know that this might also affect your chances of getting your tier 4 visa the last but not the least <laughs> is forgery forgery falsifying documents giving false answers giving false documents like forging documents you forge your proof of um, sponsorship you forge a bank statement report you lied about your visa breaches all of these things are not going to help you because these people are not stupid they are experts they've been doing this for years they can tell apart fake from real they can take tell apart uh, talk about tell apart genuine answers from false answers so you need to just be honest just be real don't go with any false documents don't falsify documents for christ's sake when you forge documents you know you're not going to get a visa so i don't even know why you bother like why do you bother last but not the least is inadequate funding so coming to the uk is quite capital intensive and the uk authorities they know one reason why they ask for your proof of funding or they want to see that you have adequate funding is so you don't come here and become a liability. There are already lots of people here that the UK system is supporting and the last thing they need is an influx of more people that is just going to add to the burden that they are carrying. So they don't want that. They want to be sure that you can comfortably take care of yourself in the UK. So if your funding in your account is not up to the threshold required for your visa, then this might just affect your chances of getting your visa make sure you have enough money before you apply for your visa guys i hope this helps i've come to the end of this video and as always if you enjoyed it please don't forget give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up thumbs up that's your way of encouraging me and of course look out for part four of this video which will drop tomorrow the part four is going to be me answering questions so i'll be asking myself questions like simulating a visa interview experience and then answering those questions so make sure you check them out check that video out when it comes out tomorrow thank you so much for watching till next time guys